Hello and welcome back to Hydroset Info. In this video, I will show you how to clone apps on Samsung S25 Plus. Let's begin. So, first, first way to doing this uh, is actually going to settings, scrolling almost all the way down, and here you click advanced features. After you scroll all the way down, you click the very last option called dual messenger. And in here, you can create a copy of um, basically text applications. For me, I have Facebook and WhatsApp because these, uh, these are applications I have currently installed on my phone. So I can quickly go to Facebook. I can install another copy on, of, of Facebook. And when I go here, you can see that I have my first Facebook and the second one and they are completely separate. I can log in into different accounts onto them and I don't have to worry about logging in, signing out uh, forever and forever. However, as you could see, uh, the settings here are pretty limited as you are only limited to, well, only messenger apps. So in order to actually change that, you have to go to settings uh, and go to security and privacy and here go to more security settings and we can actually create copies of our applications using a secure folder so let's quickly grant the permissions and create one uh, the only column uh, of the secure folder or maybe uh, a pro I well it's hard to hard to tell uh, that it requires you uh, you need a password in order to actually use a copy of certain applications so for example I have added before my fingerprint into my phone and I will need to anyway input a pin password or a pattern so let's choose a pattern let's draw something very simple and here we are asked if we want to allow lock reset with Samsung account so if we ever forget it, we can simply go into our Samsung account and uh, reset it. If we don't allow it and we'll just forget our lock, then we'll can't get into our secure folder and we won't be able to use the copies of our applications. So now we have our secure folder. And I want to showcase you how it works because as you could see before, uh, here is this little gallery option. And as you can see, it is currently empty. There is nothing here, absolutely nothing. However, in my normal gallery, you can see that there are a bunch of different photos, screenshots, and even a downloaded wallpaper from Don't Starve Together. So as you can see, the apps in the gallery here, uh, the apps in the secure folder are completely separate. And if you, add to, uh, if you want to add more applications, you can simply go, go and do that by pressing plus icon and, for example, choosing not Facebook, but let's say Gmail. And let's also add a Spotify here, because why not? And these applications are also completely different uh, from uh, the normal ones. As you can see in the Gmail, I'm not even logged in, while in the normal Gmail, also, I'm not logged in, but if I'll choose my Gmail here and take me to Gmail, you can see that here I'm completely set up. While inside the secure folder, I am still need to... Uh, actually, I don't even have an ability to choose uh, the uh, email address like I had before. And if you want to actually move something away, uh, out uh, of the secure folder, you can simply hold your finger and click Add to Home. Then you click Add. And as you can see, you have this little Spotify icon. So now, uh, when I actually find the other Spotify, I can also move it here. And as you can see, we have two copies of the same application. But uh, there's also one single option we have to check and that is auto-locking, because right now, if we lock an exit, in order to use the copy, we would have to input our passwords. And if you want to change that, we can simply go into secure folder 
and click uh, settings and here we click Outlock Secure Folder. So if you want to actually input your passwords every time you want to open, your, open the app, you can just check this option. And now whenever I go into Spotify, I would have to verify myself. And as you can see now I go back and I have to use the pattern once again. And the same goes for the whole folder. However, if you just want to use it as a copy, and not as a security option, you can simply go to settings, auto lock, and change to only when phone restarts. So when you manually just restart your phone using these options right here. Because now I can easily go in and even if I, I will turn my screen black, I can still go in into my, spot into my copy of my Spotify and I don't have to input my password. So, that's all for this video. If you found it helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching.